Hey, what's up guys? It's Byron Ranjay here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put a rim strip on a BMX wheel, 20 inch BMX wheel. It's really not that hard, I just noticed that online I was looking up just to make sure I was doing it right, and I couldn't find any videos on it on YouTube or anything on Google or anything, so I figured I'd make this because I figured it out. It's not too hard, but there is some things that make it a lot easier on you. So, you got to have your wheel, obviously. I just got this one lay stuff it looks pretty sick with the black and white spokes um, then you're gonna need a rim strip this is just an Odyssey 20 inch rim, stri rim strip uh, you can get them off odysseybmx.com for like five bucks it comes with two of them which is nice or you can get them off other BMX stores uh, or whatever you want just make sure it's for BMX and 20 inch um, and there's rim tape you can get too that sticks on there and then you cut it and then just overlap it but this kind of video is mainly just how to put a rim strip on so yeah and then you just need something like this I know this is kind of ghetto but you just need something that can fit through let me show you where is it there it is you just need something that can fit through your um, valve stem hole see mine's right there so you just need something that can fit through there but kind of lock in because this like gets thicker as it goes so as it goes through it just locks in so that'll help it because you're going to put your rim strip over this and then it'll keep it from when you're stretching it out around the rim it'll keep it from moving so you're not done and then you know your rim or your i mean uh valve stem area has been moved to the right or to the left a little bit or maybe even off the hole entirely because that kind of sucks because then you have to pretty much redo it because it's too hard to move around once it's uh in there so yeah just get something like that uh this works for me paintbrush because they kind of grow you could use something else but this works um you could probably even use an allen key because it has the little 90 on the top you know but anyway so i'm gonna go ahead and start putting on the rim strip now just over the paintbrush just make sure when you do it you got it facing the right way like, uh, usually the side with the branding on it is usually going to be facing out. Um, so that's usually how it is. It's also the smoother side when it comes to the rim strip. And this side kind of has a little bit of a texture on it, as you can kind of tell there. So just make sure the right side's facing out. And then I don't think I can put it on this way, maybe. No, it's too small. So I'll just put this through this and then through the rim, just like this through the rim, push it nice and tight so it's not going to move anywhere, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start pulling on this a little bit, just pushing it down nice and flat, so hold on one second, I'm just going to push these edges down nice and flat so they get past that uh, little edge right there where the wheel or the uh, tire will kind of grab. So you just got to get it past that. Make sure it's past that on both sides. Nice and flat. Make sure you get all the air, bu air bubbles out. Just kind of push them out like a sticker kind of. And then just keep going like a sticker kind of. And uh, eventually it's going to get kind of hard to do. Like a sticker kind of. What's up? I'm making a video. <laughs> So you just keep pushing it out like that, getting all the air bubbles out, making it nice and flat and in the middle of the rim as much as you can, like a sticker kind of. It's still recording, so I'm just recording what you're doing. Yeah. Jesus, I like it sucks. It does. So when you get it to this point where it's like got a lot of tension on it and it's like you're trying to pull more here but it's just pulling it out back here like see if I pull on this it's starting to kind of almost get too much tension it's going to pull out. What you got to do is pretty much sometimes I'll try with my knee I figured out you can kind of do it it's like just clamp it against your knee down here and then keep working it or if you can it's even better if you can just plant your finger on there hold it really tight and then just come over here and keep stretching and pushing it in as best you can. Like kind of getting over the rim and just 
blend it in the middle. It might wrinkle a little bit because it's so tight, but you're going to have to deal with that once it gets in there because it's kind of hard to get it in there flat. It's, uh, there's just so much tension. Just keep pulling it over the rim. It's going to wrinkle, but oh well. It seems like each time you pull it, though, it works to wrinkle out. So. Yeah, a little bit. There will be a little bit of a wrinkle at the end usually, but maybe not if you do it right, but it's hard. And then you get to this point, you're pretty much there. You just got to pull this last little bit of stuff over. There you go. And then you get this wrinkled mess. You just got to pull it all out. This actually isn't as bad as the last one I did. The last one I did, I had to keep like curling up the edge constantly. Yeah, just pull it out, get it nice and center. You don't want one side too high or one side too low. So right in the middle, all the air bubbles out. And then just go ahead and look down the rim like this and just make sure it's not, you know, like I said earlier, hitting where the tire grabs under this little ridge. Make sure it's like down a little bit, sinking into the rim. Like how it is here and just turn it look for any spots where it may be too high as you can see it's like mine looks pretty good I think it sunk in pretty decent and then the good thing is you got your thing still in the valve stem here valve stem hole anyway and then you just pull that right out and you're done you can put your valve stem through there and you got a rim strip on your wheel and that's how to put a rim strip on a 20 inch BMX wheel so Hope that helped you guys because it probably would have helped me if there was an actual video. But now there is. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment for more if you have any questions. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.